Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Underwood Baptist Church Young Adult Sunday School Class Daily Devotional for Monday, October the 4th. Uh, Brother James has asked me to, uh, to fill in for him this morning, and uh, I'm going to do my best to uh, fill his big shoes. Brother James, thank you for placing your confidence in me that, that I would get this done for you. And I would also like to just start out this morning by asking uh, that you all please continue to pray for my brother-in-law, Adam Perez, as he still remains in the hospital um, in a medically induced coma and is still on 100% oxygen on ventilators. So uh, we would certainly uh, appreciate your par prayers. Um, and this morning I would like to, to have a brief lesson on restraint. Um, and the restraint I'm talking about, the verse I'm talking about is Proverbs 29, 11. Um, a fool uttereth all his mind, but a wise man keepeth it in till afterwards, right? In other words, a lot of times people just don't, people react without thinking, right? Um, they blurt out whatever comes to their mind uh, without thinking about um, a proper response to something. Um, and I've seen this happen a lot, and it seems to happen more with the uh, with the unsaved folks than uh, with the saved folks. Um, but you know, they they just blurt out stuff without reservation or caution. Um, but a wise man keeps it in, thinks about it maybe meditates on it, maybe doesn't even, even respond the same day, um, or makes a comment to the effect that uh, we'll address this later, or something like that, right? Um, so, you know, you can, uh, you can blurt out something that comes to mind if you want to, right? Um, but that's not the best way to respond to things. That's not the Christian way, right? Um, and a lot of times people will just throw out stuff, blatant lies, or sometimes they'll they'll be flattering to someone who they wouldn't normally be flattering to, right? They'll say things just to maybe get themselves out of a situation that they don't want to be in, you know? Um, but, you know, we just need to keep in mind that folks are watching us. Um, they're always looking for an excuse to say, wow, that's why I'm not a Christian. Wow, I don't ever want to be associated with those folks um, because they're just like everybody else. But what they don't understand and what never seems to come to mind is that um, we're people too. I mean, we're humans. We have a sin nature just like everybody else. But we strive to not let that sin nature run our lives. Even though a lot of times we slip up, we mess up, and we do things that we really don't want to do. And then we have to go back afterwards and we have to make amends. We have to apologize. And it's not easy to apologize. Nobody ever wants to be wrong, and they certainly don't want to have to admit that they're wrong. But remember, no matter what the situation is, be like the wise man, or be the wise man or the wise lady, and don't just blurt out the first thing that comes to mind. Now, I know this is a short lesson this morning, and I hope it's been helpful for you. And we thank you so much for watching. I'm going to close this out in a word of prayer now. Father, we thank you so much for this time that we have to, to study your precious word. Father, we thank you for every every person that this reaches. Uh, we thank you for everyone that takes the time out of their day to watch these, Lord. But we also ask that you just uh, reach as many people or help us to reach as many people as we possibly can with this method, Lord. And thank you for giving us the technology that allows us to reach these people. And Father, I just want to lift up all those in our church, Lord, that are hurting, Lord, all those that, uh, 
all those that need that need prayer, all those that need healing, Lord. Father, no matter what their situation, we just ask that you be in the midst of it, Lord. And you, and we also ask that you just give us the discernment to know what we need to do to help folks, Father, because a lot of times people won't just come out and ask for help. And Father, we thank you for the church that we have, Lord, for the praying people, for, for the people that are not, not afraid to get up in our pulpit and preach your word, Father. And it's now that you go with us, guide us, and direct us, Lord. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you all for watching, and have a fantastic Monday. Talk to you soon.